Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at exporting a geometric hierarchy tracking scene to Blender. So we're going to start out making a couple of simple modifications. I'm just going to use a somewhat better color for the box itself once it's exported. And we're also going to go over to the lighting panel and create a light inside of Synthize. And you could do this inside of Blender for that matter also, but I'm just quickly showing that you can do it here in Synthize. And in fact, Synthize has some pretty cool tools for being able to decide and determine where the light is in an actual scene. So you may be able to take advantage of that also. You can check out some of the other tutorials and the manual. So with that done, we're ready to start with the export itself. So we're just going to use the default settings here. You can run through and look at some of the tooltips on these to see what they're good for. One key thing, we're going to use the automatic run feature where the file is going to be immediately opened in Blender as soon as we export it. And to do that, you need to have the exact proper name of the version of Blender that you have installed on your system and that you want to use if you've got multiple versions installed. So you need to get that set up exactly right down here for this to work. One other key point on this, it's going to open a new scene each time you do it in Blender. It's going to start a new Blender instance altogether. So you probably want to close the existing one before you open a new one because otherwise you can wind up with six different Blenders and you're not sure really what which one of them is which, which is the latest one, and so on. So it's good just to start from a clean start. We'll let that go. And Blender starts up. I'm going to need to adjust it back into the capture window here so you can see what we're doing. So here we have the scene opened in Blender. And I'm just going to go to a quad view here. You can see what we've got in general. And I'll point out the, you know, the scaling of everything can be adjusted inside of Synthize before you do this. There are adjustments for this. So this is just kind of the default, I'm not really thinking about it sort of thing here. So I'm going to just go and delete the light it's already in Blender. Now we'll open up the Synthize scene here. You can see the light is there and we, we don't have a whole lot of brightness as of yet. We could mess with that. The easiest thing to do with this is to go and just change the fall off. So now you can see a somewhat brighter lit scene. So if you scrub through this you'll see that the box animation is there and that's being accomplished within Blender using a modifier on the box. So the hierarchy that you saw inside of Synthize is here in Blender also. So if we go and look on the uh, modifier panel, there we go, uh, you'll see that there is a, a, a point cache modifier that is doing the deformation of the mesh to match the animation determined inside of Synthize. So that's being driven by some files. There's a little folder here that has a point cache file for each of the deformed animated objects within the Synthize environment. So that's something that Synthize created when it ran the export. Not only did it create the Python file, but it also created this folder with a little point cache file for each of the animated deforming objects inside of Synthize. So a similar approach is used for the film box export as well. It creates a little folder, but if you export from Synthize to Alembic, then that information isn't necessary because it's built into the Alembic file itself. So, thanks for watching. 